Dan, can you explain what is meant by the kingdom of heaven is within you? Sure, Brenda, that's really a good question. It was said many times in the Bible, the Christian Bible, that the kingdom of heaven is within you. This is something that's commonly misunderstood because most people think that what we have within us is really just ourselves. But that's not true. We have within us our own mind and our subconscious mind, which runs our body automatically. Your heart, you never have to tell your heart to beat. You never have to tell your blood to carry oxygen and cleanse cells and so forth. All those things are done a million times a day, more than that, automatically. There's something that takes care of that inside of us, and it's called our autonomic nervous system. We misunderstand that and think that that's really all there is to us. We know that we have a mind, and we have a memory, and we have the ability to reason and analyze and those kinds of things. But there's something else within us that some religious people call your soul. Some people call it your connection with infinite intelligence or conscious awareness or source energy or God. When it was said that the kingdom of heaven is within you, that wasn't a metaphor that Jesus was using. He was actually telling us that within us is a miracle of energy transfer, a miracle of opening to a connection between our heart and the heart of infinite intelligence, the heart of conscious awareness. And that connection between what we feel inside of, of us as our conscience or our soul or the, the still small voice, that part of us that has never changed since the day we were born and will never change ever. It doesn't end when we die. There's a part of us that is the infinite expanse of conscious awareness that we have within us a direct connection to the heart and mind of God. This is how so-called geniuses get ideas and things happen intuitively. And you get a thought about a person and that person calls you. It seems like a coincidence. It's just little hints that there's a, a connection within us that's much bigger, much bigger than just ourselves. And really what it is, is the creative energy of the universe. It's the source energy that created everything. That conscious awareness, infinite intelligence, God, Allah, whatever you want to call it. That connection between us and infinite intelligence is a spiritual faculty that we call our imagination. Everything in the universe was created by thought energy. Thought energy, which has always been here like all other forms of energy, it's constantly changing in form. It can change form from thought energy to physical energy, from what we call energy to matter. Those transitions are taking place all the time in the universe. And physics studies have shown that it actually happens in the, in the laboratory. It can be reproduced. In quantum physics, they call it the observer effect. In other parts of experiments, it's called quantum entanglement. Everything is connected. We are connected within us through our imagination to the entire energy that created the universe. And it's all available to us. People who are wildly successful, unimaginably wealthy, will tell you that it did, didn't come by accident. It came by having a connection with a power that is infinite, with an energy source that is endless, the, a reservoir that can never be drained. That's the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is within you, and not just a little piece of it, but the entire kingdom of heaven, 
all of the energy of the universe is within you. You have access to it. And all you have to do is learn how to tap into it, embrace it, and use it to create the life that you love. Thanks for being with us today. My goal is to give you value with every lesson. If you would like us to notify you every time a new lesson is ready, click subscribe below, then turn on notifications. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.